Welcome to the world of Jones Knows. We're going to preview my latest stair and vinyl job. All today on Jones Knows. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Free. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm a flooring and stair contractor, and as usual, help me in the videos are my sons. Well, actually, I just got one of my sons today. It's Hunter, but we're not alone. We're together, and we are the A team. We're working on this staircase, and this is something special. We have gone and found some of the nicest parts from the balusters to the newel posts to the finishes that we're using, and even this awesome wide plank vinyl floor. The parts that we're using on this job are amazing. You're not going to want to miss any of the videos. We're going to make a series about this job, show you exactly what we're doing here, from how we apply this amazing impact oil. Not a stain, it's not a finish, it's a one-step oil that we put on that is high-end, and besides looking good, it feels amazing. This is the silkiest smooth feeling you could ever hope for. And the kicker is the cherry on top, it's one step. It is an impact oil and it's by Lobo and that's one of the things we're going to show you in this series so you're not going to want to miss out. But today we're going to focus on the newel post. So without any further ado, let's, let's hit it. Come bearing gifts. Ooh, this is the, this is the small one. This is this is the smaller. One. This is what we're doing everywhere. Oh my god! Go get the it's, bigger one. There's a big. Yeah. This is the small one. This is the small one. Now we don't have to use this. This is two pieces. We can do just the sleeve, or we can do this and this. So no, that comes off. Wow! Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? They're just. They're just so beautiful. When I think about what was in here, it was horrible. Years. Look at this guy. Look at this one. Isn't this thing amazing? Look at this piece of plastic off of it. I won't fall down the stairs hanging on that. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh my god. We make it shorter though. We cut it shorter. It's yeah. not going to be that tall. We're ending with one as well. <gasps> Although we could take the... You know what we could do? We could take the wall one cut it in half long ways yeah, yeah. and put it half here and half of it here. Oh, that's a good idea. Prepared, be amazed. I'm no magician. Wait, that's another video. But check it out. I just split our post into two long ways. Yep, right down the middle. I split it and we're gonna use each half of it uh, against the drywall where the railing ends instead of just using a wall plate or trying to put a, a whole post up against it this part you always have a space in between here and the drywall because it never sits flat it never never sits flat but now this will sit flat against the drywall and we just gained an extra post i turned one into two there's our half a post going in up here I was worried about it hitting that ceiling beam and being an issue. Oh my gosh, we lucked out there. Now put that one over the side. So I can see them side by side, what it they look like, one with and one without. You get it? I'm just trying to compare them, you get what I'm saying? So, No, I want to see them next to each other. So. One is with the sleeve and one is without. We're opting out of the sleeves. We all of our posts going in without the sleeve. Our starter posts, of course. These monstrosities here. These amazing monstrosities. We'll have the sleeve. We really want this to stand out. And we're actually taking a staircase that originally only had a post 
on, on the one side here. And now we're making it a double post entry to really dress it up a lot. We're gonna have a post on this side. We'll have a post on both sides as you go up and then we'll have a small piece of rail and hopefully uh, one of our patterns in this area here. We'll have a piece of rail and then we'll have room for a baluster and it's just gonna be a matter of do we get one baluster, do we get two balusters, do we get um, one decorative pattern if we're doing the diamond pattern, maybe we have enough for a diamond pattern. Whatever we do, we want enough for the rail and at least um, one if not two balusters or one pattern. What we did with these posts, they come with these really cool mounting blocks and the block goes to the floor. We'll tap on it, or we actually got some concrete bolts. And then the post sits over that, and then you can then screw your post to the mounting block. And then, of course, we can also screw it into the step, into here. But the mounting block gives us a really good foundation. And in order to do that, we've got our Bosch Bulldog hammer drill slash chipping hammer. It's an all-in-one tool. Uh, I have bigger chipping hammers, but this one is pretty handy. It gets into some tight spots, so I like it. It's pretty cool. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like under 200 bucks for a drill and chipping hammer in one. It's a good deal. Cut, cut, hold it, hold it. What about the stringers? We put a lot of work into these stringers and you can't put the posts on unless the stringers are done first. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead. The stringers she had on here were ridiculous. They were super thin. They weren't lined up. They were falling off, it looked like. So we put real inch and a half thick stringers and look at the difference. A whole lot of stringers, a whole lot of loft in second floor. But we got nice tight seams where they come together, which is what you want. And we're gonna be adding stringers right in here as well. have our post minus the sleeve and these are solid red oak when I say solid I'm literally talking solid post all the way through you don't see that too much anymore and this is the post that we basically notched out left a quarter on both sides it'll sit on uh, the corner upstairs so let's go take a look and see what it looks like when we put it in I'm gonna put that on this corner. It'll sit half way on top of this stringer and halfway on top of this. And it'll sit right there on that corner. Some really, really, really nice posts. This is it. We got it dry cut. We're about to install it. And that's the landscape. Wow, you can see her reaction. I, I felt exactly the same way. Every time I look at these posts, I, I, I'm still amazed. Solid wood. She was going to paint them white, but now she's having second thoughts because they are solid oak. It would be a shame almost to paint them. So we'll see where we go with that one. Now the treads here, she already had treads, so we just stripped them, which is really simple. We have a video on that we're going to do as well. Plus, I already have a stripping video on my channel here. You might want to check it out if you're into... Uh, stripping or you're trying to refinish a staircase that you already have it's a very useful video um, the stripping does most of the hard work for you this series is going to be packed full of a lot of great information from stairs 
to vinyl floor jobs to how we lay floors on a diagonal, you name it, it's all in there. If you really want to help support us, we're trying to get some new camera and audio equipment. We have a PayPal link below. Any support would be amazing. We would love it if you could like, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. This will really help us more than anything else that you can do. Or maybe you just want to buy the guy's lunch. We also have a button for that. If they eat a lot, they'd appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. I might even take a bite. Not that I eat lunch that much, but they sure do. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl. I even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I submerge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite floor and mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.